Welcome to Arts Quest. I'm Todd V. And I'm Erin Ludlum. In this episode, we're going to introduce you to Brooklyn artist Joseph Arthur. He is a really interesting guy. He not for only sure. is an artist, which is cool enough just all right, on its own. Of course. But he's actually a recording artist first and foremost, discovered by Peter Gabriel, who also sort of launched his fledgling art career. And a lot of the art that you're going to see in the piece actually was created while he's singing. I mean, that's kind of what is so cool about his art is it's you can see the energy from a live mm -hmm. performance in the painting. Definitely something different than what you're normally going to see out of an artist That's on for canvas. Sure. That's for sure. Let's go check him out. Born and raised in Akron, yeah. Right now I'm in, well, right now I'm in Akron, but where do I live currently? Uh, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Red Hook, Brooklyn. Which is like the Akron of Brooklyn. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm... <laughs> I, Actually, I was on my way to do a gig in Detroit, and I thought, why not try to come to Musica and play a gig? And then I, I had the idea of doing an art show here, too, and I asked them if I could, and they said yes. The art, uh, well, I've been painting for a long time, and uh, this is a mix of like stuff I've done in, like, in like my studio and stuff I've done live, because I paint live when I sing as well. So um, it's kind of a mix. Of stuff, some on paper, some on canvas. How would I describe my style? Uh, hmm, I don't know. What, what do you think? Abstract expressionism? It strikes me as a cubist, abstract kind of. Play. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Cubist, abstract. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from faces, but they always. Uh, reveal themselves. Well, uh, I don't know if I'm really trying to bring a feeling across. I, um, it's just, again, it's kind of an unconscious thing, so I don't really know. It's sort of, uh, um, I mean, I think there's a lot of life in them and there's death in them, and it's just like what life on planet Earth is like to be a human being, you know? It's like there's a bit of an alienation in them and just, uh, life and death so there's a bit of uh, there's a morose aspect to just being alive on this planet that you can't really deny but there's also like a childlike exuberance in a lot of them so that's like an and there's an innocence and a freedom in them too so I think it kind of like spans um, across the whole sort of landscape of the experience of living can I just say that this t-shirt is great <laughs> I just got this, so. This is a bit morose. I mean, you know, this is like. <laughs> this is more morose than my paintings. You know, I will be eaten, and there's a just skull, you know. Uh, I think it's similar in that, um, in, in the, the way I just described the painting. Um, uh, you know, they, I, don't, I don't know in, in really how it relates, but uh, I paint live and I paint while I sing, and that does something really good with, um, with the painting. It, it brings a certain kind of uh, um, sort of unconsciousness and sort of intensity uh, and vitality to the paintings I do live. It's like uh, folk, rock and roll, experimental, sort of eclectic rock and roll music, singer-songwriter. But that's usually a negative description. Why? I don't know. It just usually is. Huh? Because you're not Justin Bieber. <laughs> no, when somebody says if somebody's a singer-songwriter, I don't know. People will roll their eyes. Sometimes. Some people will roll eyes. Always, I guess. Always roll eyes at Somebody's always going to roll their eyes at something. <laughs> that should be a t-shirt. <laughs> Would it be okay to do the rest of the interview in my shades? Absolutely. Okay. Be yeah. Okay. Just like let's a different vibe now. I can totally take this it. Is, I'm way cooler now. You can't you can't deal with this now. <laughs> this is a different whole vibe now. This is freaking you out now. Yeah, but freaked out in a good way. You like it. <laughs> Where else can people see you? 
see your work currently? In my storage spot in Brooklyn, New York, but they can't get in because I put a lock on that. Uh, so, where else could they see it? I used to have, well, oh, museumofmodernarthur.com. I used to have a gallery called the Museum of Modern Arthur in Brooklyn, in Dumbo, um, but now that is a, it's a virtual gallery, and so go to museumofmodernarthur.com and you can see a lot of what I do. Oh, well, I used to, you know, he took my artwork seriously. My mom, actually, who's right there, is uh, one of the first ones to ever, uh, when I was a kid, she said, uh, I like your drawings, and because my drawings are kind of like what they are now, I was like, really? And uh, she's like, yeah, they have a lot of personality, and that kind of, that always stuck with me, that encouragement. And then, um, yeah, I was signed to Peter Gabriel's record label, and so when I first moved to New York, I stayed at his, uh, um, I guess you'd call it a penthouse. <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> And I painted there a lot, and, I, um, and he came home and, and uh, said he liked my paintings and encouraged that. He thought that there was something there. And so, yeah, that, that was like adult encouragement. What is your biggest draw now for you personally? Is it the art or the music, or is it really a mix of both? It's a mix of both, you know, for sure. What is I could see the art growing the older I get, you know, I could see growing into it. But I could see music growing too, so I just think it's cool to stay open and be creative in, in everything you do and all walk in, in what you do and just be like life-based, not fear-based. That would be a good t-shirt. Be life-based, not fear-based with the skull right there, turning into flesh. Well, I have four albums in the works right now. Um, and so uh, one's like a spoken word, um, almost sometimes I try to rap type of album. And then uh, one of them's like an acoustic, one of them's called The Ballad of Boogie Christ, which is like a concept record. And then the other one is called So Far From Free, which is like a big production kind of record, pop, more pop. And then I just started a band with Ben Harper and Danny Harrison called Fistful of Mercy. And that album's coming out October the 5th. So that's what I got going on right now. So I don't know what solo record I'm going to release. But probably I'll start releasing something online relatively soon. But I love what I do, so it's like, to me, it's just play, you know. It's, um, it's fun. You have a personal website? Yeah, josepharthur.com. Thank you very much for taking time to talk to us you're welcome, thank you. I really enjoyed having Joseph Arthur on the show. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, there's definitely a whole like, wow. I just blew your mind. It's freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm so cool and I don't even know what to do. <laughs> it's an awesome trick, you should try it. Freaking me out in a good way though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Syncing audio and video. Thanks for watching ArtsQuest. And remember, between episodes, you can always keep up with us at our website at artsquesttv.com. You can also check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash artsquesttv. And if you want to see where we're at up to the moment, what galleries we're visiting, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Todd V.O. Thanks for watching. <laughs>